What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is Earthmaster here in uh, Texas. It is Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. It is about uh, about 1.47 p.m. California time. Latest quake, or uh, Texas time, I should say. See, it kind of stuck out here and uh, uh, got that California thing going on here. Okay. Latest quake shows uh, some earthquake activity out here on the West Coast, but we're going to look at the big picture of what's going on around the world. We did have a pretty large earthquake off here off the coast of South America, a six pointer out here in the mid Atlantic region, 6.7 magnitude to be exact. That one uh, was earlier this morning. That thing kind of kicked off some activity further to the west here. We've seen a big push of movement over here around the Taiwan region. Uh, where they've seen uh, some pretty good activity here within the last hour or so, including a 6.7 earthquake, shaking things up pretty big time out there in the Taiwan region. Some pretty shallow earthquake activity, roughly between, uh, looks like 19 and 24 kilometers on the eastern side here of uh, Taiwan. Looks like there was a foreshock about 35 minutes or so prior to the 6.7. They, they had a 5.1 we have seen quite a bit of movement here, folks, in the last few days uh, around the Taiwan area and areas to the east here, uh, kind of all leading up to the events that we've seen today. There's that activity. We've seen a swarm of movement up here uh, just to the northeast of the Taiwan region uh, last week and some other closer activity to, towards Taiwan and of course leading up to the activity we're seeing today so uh, I, this area does see quite a bit of movement and uh, it does get some rather large earthquakes here off the coast of Japan of uh, Taiwan there is the map there showing all that earthquake activity it's in the definitely a high magnitude area uh, for earthquakes so no surprise but uh, you know looking at these swarms and whatnot uh, 6.7 it can get a lot larger than the 6.7 magnitude, so definitely got to be on guard and keep an eye on that area uh, for possible further large-scale movement. Uh, looking at the west coast over here, California, uh, lighten things up a little bit here on the map. Some activity striking off the northern California coastline as well at the southern end of the Cascadia. Seeing a, a 3.1 off the coast of Petrolia, 7.2 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. And also some activity up and down the San Andreas Fault and some return of activity here in the Tonopah, Nevada region around Mina. Uh, things kind of lighten up there with a uh, 2.3 within the last hour. Uh, also down in the Los Angeles area, we've seen some movement kick off earlier with a 3.3 near Ontario uh, at... Uh, Looks like that was at 0333 in the morning. That's pretty crazy, those numbers. Right. Uh, some activity also further south, looking at a little bit of swarming there on the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, no further swarming around the Salton Sea, but uh, either way, pretty active up here on the West Coast right now. Uh, Texas, beautiful Texas. Uh, a little bit of activity around Pecos and uh, some movement up around the Oklahoma area. That activity... Uh, uh, no doubt gas and oil well related uh, injection well activities uh, Puerto Rico look at this movement here around Puerto Rico we are swarming big time with a uh, about 37 earthquakes or so in the region of Puerto Rico kind of uh, mostly on the southwest edge but up around the Puerto Rico trench as well seeing quite a bit of movement uh, South America at least on the western side here along the Peru Chile trench remains relatively quiet haven't seen a whole lot of movement there um, in the past few days it's been just kind of a little spotty area uh, let's see what we got here in the south sandwich islands area we did have one 4.7 strike out there late last night it looks like activity up in alaska as well some movement within the last hour it looks like a uh, 3.0 near uh, lowell point Zooming in here on the big island of Hawaii. Uh, let's see what we got here. Looks like uh, not a whole lot. 24 earthquakes or so in the big island, mostly on the southeast re uh, region. 2.2 uh, around the volcano Hawaii area. Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea all looks pretty quiet for now. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the tremor activity from last night. Um, see what we got. 
course last night around this time we were having a heck of a time uh, <laughs> chasing some storms there in Texas uh, let's see what we got 21st it doesn't look like there was any trimmer at all last night uh, so it's kind of odd uh, Yellowstone region of Montana no major swarms to report there is the 6.7 from the Taiwan earthquake shown up across the maps there at Yellowstone other than that there's not a whole lot shown up there in uh, Yellowstone National Park uh, yeah so kind of an active day yesterday for us uh, we did get hit by a tornado while we were chasing a tornado worn storm we were very aware of where the circulation was uh, it happened to make a rapid change towards our direction and pretty much went over the top of us so uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch the video uh, that we've just posted here on the channel please go check it out it's quite uh, it was quite the ordeal let me tell you uh, we definitely our weather spotters and we do report weather conditions we're very aware of uh, the possibility of rapid changes so that's just a risk that we take when we're out there storm chasing definitely didn't intentionally drive into the tornado uh, just happened to be set up that way to where it crossed our path uh, at the same time as we were going down the road so uh, we are all okay um, so yeah no major damage to the vehicle or anything uh, we did see quite a bit of damage in the uh, area where we were, uh, Madisonville, Madisonville, Texas area. Had uh, seen quite a bit of heavy to severe damage with some houses and uh, uh, lots of large power lines that were down across the road. So uh, I will be putting together a full video of our storm chase uh, yesterday. I will post that up when I get home. The live stream is currently down. Looks like the computer has reset. Um, so we will have to get to that uh, when we get back to the uh, earthquake office. So for now, we'll just keep doing our daily updates. We are en route to head back to California. We're gonna pass up on the storm chasing opportunity there in Louisiana. Uh, way too many trees and uh, uh, I think we had fun, so we uh, we got to see quite a bit, and uh, we'll just uh, we'll save that for next time, possibly. All right, folks. Um, I do hope everyone has a good day. Stay weather aware if you are out there in the Louisiana area and Mississippi. And Mississippi definitely getting in on some severe weather potential, and we will see you guys a little bit later. And uh, like I mentioned, the live stream will be up here soon. Till then, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Have a beautiful Tuesday. Peace out.